all right guys welcome back to another video um i just want to make this a quick video i want to show you how you set yourself as a owner um for your rust server i just did a video showing you how to set up a dedicated server uh for rust and i am going to show you how to um, install oxide and ensure and install plugins but first i just want to do this quick video and show you how you set yourself as an owner for your server because that is going to be the next thing that you want to do um, and it will give you uh, access to spawn stuff in using the f1 command um, amongst other things as well so first thing you want to do is go to your little um, console window thing when you start up your server when you start back you'll get this window um, in this box type in owner id space get your steam 64 id um, I've already gone ahead and got mine and copied it, so I've just pasted it up there. Uh, there are videos on YouTube or even just like a Google search or something. There's plenty of information how you go get that. Um, then, this bit is optional. You can just go ahead and push enter right now and that will set you as an ID. But you can also give yourself a name, which I'm going to do. And if you're using like two words, like I am, join them up. Um, don't put a space in them. Uh, you can put a space in them, but in the file it'll just look weird. Um, and I'll show you what I mean. Uh, right, so once you've done that, owner ID, space, your Steam 64 ID, and optional, you can put a name, push enter. It now says we've added ourselves as owner. Now, what you want to do is write the word right, CFG, enter. And that's going to save the config. That's going to basically tell the server um, we are now the owner um, of the server, basically. Um, it's going to give us owner privileges. Then what you want to do is go into your folder. Go into your servers folder. Uh, go into the number one folder there. And then go into your CFG folder. And then you'll get this file generated. Uh, but if you go into your user's CFG file, you'll see we now got owner id my steam 64 id and the name we put and we've got no reason i'm not sure what the no reason is but that doesn't matter if you was to have um not put a name you wouldn't have a name here within these quotation marks and if you was to put two separate names you would basically get um it look like that it'll say one like for me one shot it'd have one in one quotation marks and shot in another so that's why i say put it in uh Two words, put them both together, and you'll actually get, you'll see your name properly. Anyway, um, I'm not going to save that because that's fine, because we've, uh, I can just close that, don't need to save it. Uh, the reason I don't need to save it is because I've righted the CFG file there. Right, now I believe um, we should have, yep, yeah, we can, got my uh, Rust server up, I've logged in. If we press, uh, push, if we press F1, we get the console window up and you can go to items and we can click on item. Oh, I may need to re-log out. If you are already in the server, you will need to log out and back in. Uh, but I believe because I was actually in the middle of logging in when I did that, it was counting me in the server. So we'll just log out and we'll log back in. I'll let this do and then I'll uh, continue the video. All right, we are just got back into the server so now i believe if we push f1 click an assault rifle you can see we now got the ak in the bottom bar there and also if you notice it says on the bottom left um one shot gave himself uh, an assault rifle that will notify whoever's on the server that we've just done that uh so if you don't want that if you don't want players you know seeing that you've uh, spawned yourself something because that will give away admin abuse um if you're doing it a lot of people see that um if you don't want that there is a plugin called um what's it called no give notice that will once you install that plugin anytime you use the f1 command to uh, spawn yourself an item so if you just spawn a butcher's knife you will not see that notification there in the bottom left anyway that's it for this video i'll see you in the next one have fun guys and peace out